What's going on guys? Mega Gig back with another video, back with our Chaos Let's Play with Total War Warhammer 2 on the Mortal Empires campaign. Continuing where we left off, we are stuck in Force March mode here uh, because we just took out the Black Tower. We were able to um, sack and get a bunch of money, but uh, now we can't move. And they've got all these stacks over here. It looks like they're going to be coming after our allies and so we may have to retreat this army back in the near future because we're still waiting on him to grow he's growing pretty quick but he's still gonna need a little bit of time uh, I think we'll go ahead and do that that'll help our upkeep a little bit uh, on his little army as well and we'll keep an eye on, uh, on what the high elves are doing and we will move our guy accordingly Maybe uh, maybe we should have left Kolek up here to continue to face these onslaughts, but it seemed like it was just going to be a never-ending cycle up here. Uh, now, we did get the really good replenishment because we were in our allied territory, but yeah, look, now they've got five stacks up here. So, my plan is to head over here to... Uh, Orthlon. And they want peace. Oh, and they'll pay me a little bit too. Probably not much. Um, they'll probably. Let's just do 1100. They should take that, yeah. I don't want to burn that to the ground because I want to be able to uh, replenish, but we can start making our way this way. We need 25% to replenish. And actually, if they don't attack us, let's do... Of course it gets rid of the one with the banner on it. Of course it does. Uh, I feel like they're probably going to attack us with that army. So we'll go ahead and keep... We'll keep this one. They're only a 31 unit uh, army there, but we'll keep them. Anyways, if they don't attack... Who are these guys? Are we at war with them? Non-aggression pack. Not they probably won't join our war, though. Not by nah. me. Yeah, we'll accept a non-aggression pack for now. And I really should probably recruit another hero to kind of scout ahead for us, but we're at our maximum number for now. But it'd be nice to be able to scout ahead and see if they have an army that's going to intercept us or not. Since we're not uh, able to replenish really good anymore, though, we're going to have to do the thing where we combine our units and then uh, re-recruit... Let's see, we're still in safe range from here. I don't want to go up to number three on that, although it does give minus more upkeep. These guys are pretty cheap anyways, though. We'll, we'll leave them there for now. And we've got a couple of heroes. don't really have looks like the best option. We still failed. And we've got another one over here. On guard and technology. I guess we'll just try and steal the technology again. Alright. Boosted up us up to 23. They've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we did beat Alistar a couple of turns ago. Where did he get all these units? I guess... Maybe they have some other recruitment things in here? They must have. 
I don't know. I would almost, uh, with as many stacks as they're bringing, I mentioned this in a, a couple episodes back, I asked you guys, uh, nobody really said anything, but it would be nice to, I thought about getting a mod and asked you guys uh, how you thought about getting a mod where I could have two armies next to each other and they didn't take attrition, because with all these different stacks that they're sending, that really seems like the only way I'd be able to ad actually advance without having to cut corner. Oh, look, they backed up too. All right. <clears throat> uh, oh, the Dark Elves want peace now. Oh, aggression Pact. Let's see if they'll give us a little money. They should take 1800 Yeah. We'll take peace right now just because the High Elves are really becoming a pain. We're going to head over to Slaver's Point. Not aggression Pact. I think we just got peace with these guys a second ago, didn't we? We're not going to worry about this big battle just yet. We'll head over here. See if we can't draw them out so we don't have to face the, uh, the garrison at the same time. All the way around to get that. If we move in on this, that's going to take up too many points that I don't want to use. So let's kick that. Can they reach us? No, they can't reach us, it doesn't look like. So let's get rid of this too. Even though they have gold chevrons, I'd rather have a full, full unit. We've actually got unit rank 3, so that's not too bad. And we've got a couple of heroes that we need to move as well. We block, oops, we block any of these armies? Uh, yeah, alright, there we go. Probably still can't assault. We're not near high enough. be able to assault any of these units. Let's try it. There we go. And they can force march and get to us. Let's, let's move just a little more. Population surplus, so in four turns we'll be able to get this. And next turn, we'll sack this. And then we might jump out and head for their their homelands after that. We'll see what happens here. Because it looks like their forces um, really like this area up here. Let's see what they do. Yeah, they're definitely advancing. Oh, they went into ambush stance. I don't plan on being ambushed. So we're not going to go back this way. This should be an easy an easy take. Yeah, they don't have walls or anything. So that'll be an easy easy take. We'll probably just Give that to the gold chevron guy. Auto that. Yeah, we didn't take hardly any damage except for our. Our brothers will avenge us. Except for our dogs, which they might not have been too. They might not have been healed up, anyways. Uh, leadership or charge bonus. We did give him a Manticore. He's got decent charge. Goes all the way up to 30. Yeah, we'll give him charge bonus. <clears throat> I just really don't want to end up meeting a high elf army way up here. Or in the... Alright, so there's no no attrition. Oh, there is attrition there. 
Let's force march out into the water and see what we come up with. And we've got our heroes again. Oh no! Critical failure. And he's wounded, of course. Four or five turns. Bummer. 38%. Obviously not very good. And they're just in force march, so they can't. These guys can't reach us either, so we'll have one turn to get away. So let's go ahead and end the turn. <clears throat> see what they do this time. I want to get this army built back up as soon as possible. So we might wait and actually build the, I think it's a Chaos Gathering. It's where we can recruit Chaos Warriors uh, before we max out the uh, whatever that first building is. And they're still kind of dilly-dallying around over here. A little bit of the dilly, a little bit of the dally. All right. Let's see. What do we? We need four for this. So we need five total. I think we'll go ahead and go for that because this is just going to give us. I mean, it does do minus upkeep, but we can work towards that next once we actually get another army. They decided to move that army out there. Um. In reefs. And this is what? Deep water, right? Yeah. It looks like we'll still be in attrition at the very end of our movement, so we're just going to wait right there. And we'll actually go into normal stance in case they do attack. And we're going to come and land down here we've got some heroes not moved let's get more technology research if we can we cannot we've got a technology to research too I don't want to spend 40 grand because we've only got 49 we've got all of these leadership for cast warriors and aspiring champions that'll help out for our army that we're about to create because it's going to be chaos warriors not chosen warriors at least for the time being. So let's go ahead and end the turn. And they don't know what's coming. We have set sail. And we're heading down to, uh, was it Vol's Anvil, right? I really hope they don't all of a sudden have like 10 stacks waiting right here in the Hidden Lands. They thought they'd keep us busy up here. Nope. Although I was quite enjoying the large battles that we were having up there. I was really enjoying the battles. It's just... Uh, I wasn't super stoked. We're still going to take a little attrition. I just wasn't super stoked on... Uh, I'm kind of being stuck up there. Um, let's go. Let's go campaign. Maybe we'll get some replenishment or something. Campaign movement. Oh, that's not bad, I guess. All right, the Shrine of Cain. What do they got here? Yeah, they don't have very much. And, of course, we've got our heroes up here again. Let's see if we can get a technology this time. There we go. And we're at 30%. So this was at 10 turns, I guess. Didn't we just now do it? So 10 turns, now it's 9, maybe? Uh, we'll go ahead and give him a steed. Because we're going to be putting him in 
this army up here pretty soon. Three, one more turn for population surplus to get our chaos warriors. And then two turns till we can get our ruinous altar. That's probably as far as we'll go there. Minus upkeep for chaos warriors, 20%. Minus upkeep. Uh, well, it's only two more. We might go for this just for the extra upkeep too. And then, uh, and then we'll probably look at to max this out because it's minus another five percent upkeep total once you get from here to here. And it's a little more horde growth, which will help us build other buildings a little bit faster too. So let's go ahead and end the turn and see what they do. I think we're still out of range here because they didn't really move any closer. Whoa, got some chaos stuff. We might, uh, if if the high elves are too dominant up here, we might bring our other army back over here and look to start awakening some tribes over here again. Aisling is still surviving. It looks like the empire is still messing around up here. So we'll we'll see. Let's go ahead and fast forward that. Oh, Nagaron was destroyed. Uh, and I actually haven't had this happen yet, so I'm not 100% sure. But I think you can have a rebellion here and have uh, Dark Elf Rebels. I think they can take that back, and I think Nagaron can respawn. I think, kind of like Empire, and I think it happened in Rome, too. Rome, too, as well. So I don't know. We'll see. They've got... Why don't they suffer from any public order stuff? That's just horrible. Look at this. 66% corruption. And it's only minus one. I mean, I cannot wait to play with mods. I'm telling you, I probably should have just gone with mods straight up. But I said I was going to be vanilla, so we're going to be vanilla. Unless you guys say it's okay. And maybe I'll get the Steel Faith overhaul mod. That's the one I'm really excited to try out. Alright, we're at 30%. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Upset. full stacks it looks Never. like. No, 5. Certainly not. That'll be a full stack soon and they recruit another guy here. So, let's just get some more technology if we can. Nope. Who has this skill point? Uh, our fire sorcerer down here. We've maxed out pretty much all of his stuff. Now it shall be. And it looks like we can just Destroy. get to the Shrine of Cain. Let's encircle it for a moment. I want to look around and see if they have any armies. It doesn't look like they have any armies that are going to come to their aid. Attack. So we'll go ahead and do this. Sack that. Um. Yeah, we'll just we'll just leave those how they are for now. Yeah, we'll just leave that how it is for now. Go ahead and end the turn. Ostermark's been destroyed. Bummer. Not that I really care. Let's see what Lothern does. Oh, critical success. Does that mean he's been completely killed? Was he wounded or was he completely killed? That'd be unfortunate if he was completely killed. guess we'll enter on the side of our ally. Yeah, they killed him anyway, so... Uh-oh. They're getting a little close now. Alright, let's see. Did they completely... They completely killed him. 
Unwise. Ay, ay, ay. We're gonna have to retreat. Let's be about yeah, they can't reach us here. Because we want to build. Oh, we can't build actually. We've got to wait. And then a random army. Oh, they must be following us. <laughs> Alright, well, let's. We're gonna have to sack this again. To get out of here. Let's wander over here. We'll leave us a little bit of movement range. Looks like they can't get to us just in case something else shows up. Now yeah, we'll go into this. Um, those are good enough, I think. We'll go ahead and leave that combined. That's still going to be... There we go. That looks pretty good. Our Exalted Hero. Charge bonus. And we can recruit that Sorcerer again. Level 5. What about up here? Is it going to be level 5 from here too? Uh, we actually don't have the building required for that. So we'll have to recruit him down here. Where are we? Determined. Melee attack. Cunning. Analog Splendor. Fleet-footed intelligence. Hero self-defense chance. That's nice. And there are no fire sorcerers. Melee attack's not really that good for a... Uh, so let's go with a Shadows Sorcerer, and we'll go with Intelligence. My magic is yours. And let's do one, two, three, four. This is a really neat skill as well, and then we'll send him back up here. It's real interesting, this army seems to have followed us the entire way. They're coming after us, which means we might go ahead and attack them. Uh, once we get back to full strength here in just a second. <coughs> After this turn, we'll be close enough to full strength. If they move up where we can attack them, we may just go ahead and do that. see what they do here. Yeah, they're really pushing back. Pushing back our allies quite a bit. And they assaulted us, but we're still in ally territory, so we'll replenish up. No big deal. Oh man, they are just wiping the floor with my allies. We might have should have stayed up here. <laughs> The High Elves are getting so strong. They have so many armies. And we don't have enough money to field more than two. Barely have enough money for two. Training. Let's get out of the reach of this guy for now. We need. Oh, we can actually build that. So we'll do that next turn. And they went to Tor and Lek, which is actually a big one. Um, but it doesn't actually look too bad. Two. Why did why was that two? Why are all these two? Uh, 
saw that happen before as a hero effect, and I forget why. I forget what it was that was causing it to be two. It's not down here, though. Why was it? There's some kind of effect that's causing it to be two. Never. This serves the dark hours. At least chaos. We'll just make these guys faster for now. Death holds no fear. Yes. Bring the storm. Oh, and what was it? Did they... Can we block this army? We can actually block this army and keep it from getting it... Keep it from getting to us right now. That'd be great. We'll go with specialist 36, 37, 38, and then we'll do two and wound. Sure. Why not? I can't remember what it was that was uh, causing the recruitment to take so many turns. I mean, I guess we can go ahead and still click it, but. Some kind of effect. And I'm drawing a blank. It happened earlier in the campaign on like episode 5 or something. But yeah, I forget what it was. That's really annoying though. Where did they go? They are right there. Failure. We still got some XP though. And it's still on two turns. How many more turns is it? It must say somewhere. I thought for sure it said either down here or up here. But it doesn't say. But we'll go ahead and leave is this 12,000. I think we'll go ahead and go with this too because it, it generates uh, an extra 100 gold or income and then uh, it doubles uh, the amount of upkeep that it's reducing. And we can afford it. We're not losing too much in our income right now. Oh, farts. <laughs> We forgot to move this guy. But that's okay. It looks like they didn't come after us after all. We'll actually leave that off to see what they do this time. And so far we haven't had a battle on this part. Which is unfortunate because we are winding it down. Unless something happens in the very near future. And they just decided to move back. Ah! 
looks like Aisling's still doing pretty good. I'm not sure why they're going after the Empire. Yeah, they still lost, even with all those armies. build up the stuff that we meant to build up last time and we're gonna hold off on recruiting until we've get the stuff that way it doesn't income it doesn't hurt our income too much I was hoping it would zoom me down there just by clicking that bummer all right, we're fully healed. It shall be. Let's go ahead and I don't think, I still don't think they can reach us. So we'll just burn down the Shrine of Cain. That's not gonna hurt us too much. Let's go ahead and raise it. And then these gates will be a fun one to go after. We're probably going to keep this uh, sorcerer over here to scout out an area. So we may come over, next time we'll probably come over and take this guy out. We might go after the Phoenix Gate, and then we might cross over. And then we're into their kind of uh, main homelands here. We might just wreak a bunch of havoc through here. But uh, yeah, that's where we're going to have to call it this time and this guy is building up as well one more turn there and then in two more turns we'll be able to build the uh, level four of that and then from there we're just going to build up these uh, but once we get this up to number four then we'll recruit our army we'll have decent minus upkeep and then we'll work on these as well and that'll help our upkeep even more and uh, yeah, we'll get back in the business. It'll probably go up to like minus six or seven thousand. But by then, we should be over here raiding and raising all these things. And so yeah, it should work out. It should work out okay. So uh, yeah, sorry we didn't get a battle this time, but uh, we had some pretty big ones in the last couple episodes. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get one next time. I'm sure we will. We'll probably go after this army. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys for watching. More good stuff to come. Take care.